My name is Jenna Marvin, and I am the Marsha Brady Tucker Curatorial Fellow in the Photography Department at the Yale University Art Gallery. Today, I would like to share a few works by the Alabama-born artist William Christenberry. Initially trained as a painter, Christenberry began making photographs of his native Alabama as studies for paintings, but his color photographs of southern buildings, graveyards, and signage would become an integral part of his artistic practice. This photograph of the Barbecue Inn in Greensboro, Alabama, is one of a series of photographs that Christenberry took during periodic visits to Alabama between 1964 and 1991. The photographs documented the building as it changed throughout the years. The changes made by humans, such as a new coat of cream paint on the facade, and the addition of two red pillars that prop up the sagging awning over the front door, contrast with the building's eventual abandonment and subsequent demolition. The last photograph in the series is the square of concrete where the building formerly stood. Christenberry also depicted the Barbecue Inn as a sculpture in 1982, almost 20 years after he began photographing the building. Unlike the photographs of the structure, Christenberry's sculpture is not a snapshot in time, but a compilation of the building as it exists in his memory, photographs, and drawings of the site. The building appears simultaneously tidy and decrepit. The paint is fresh and the porch is swept, yet the advertisements on the side of the building have all partially peeled off. In addition, the sign that reads, The Barbecue Inn, has faded and is now almost illegible. Unlike the actual building, which bordered the sidewalk at a street corner, the recreation is situated in red clay soil that Christenberry sourced from Alabama. The building's red brick structure seems to rise out of the dusty, terracotta-colored ground it rests upon, more a part of the environment than part of the surrounding town. Though Christenberry himself lamented that the American South was beginning to look like everywhere else, he was careful to point out that his work is not simply nostalgia for the past, but a search for what he called the, quote, poignancy in things that are disappearing. When asked why he never made portraits of people, Christenberry declared that he had always been more interested in, quote, mankind's touch and the effects of weathering and change, like the decay of long-forgotten road signs or advertisements, paint chipping on doors, or nature overtaking the remains of buildings or abandoned furniture. The last photograph of Christenberry's series that displays the vacant lot where the Barbecue Inn once stood seems mournful only if one considers it to be the definitive end of the narrative. Christenberry's sculpted version of the building illuminates another way to understand the Barbecue Inn and the other buildings like it across the South, as a monument to the inevitability and beauty of change. <laughs>